Morning. Happy Monday. Uh, I've lost count of the uh, Corona update number. However, I know that uh, as far as health and healthcare works, chiropractic is still trouncing whatever the heck this little bug is doing to people. So, update. Where are we at? Uh, actually, I want to go over some articles I found this weekend. Um, we'll do the numbers and the graphs and stuff on the later update. Suffice to say, curves flattening. Um, it's not spreading like it used to. More and more people are in recovery every single day. Again, this isn't even close to what we face on a yearly basis with the flu. Anyway, let's look at some articles here. So, Anthony Fauci, sound familiar? He's a guy that's on the news all the time talking about this and, you know, saying the sky's falling. Uh, it also turns out that he published an article in the New England Journal of Medicine where he was saying this really isn't uh, that big of a deal. If we look here, suggest that the overall clinical consequence of COVID-19 may be more akin to a severe season of influenza. So a severe season, two years ago here in America, we lost 60,000 people. 60,000 from the flu. Weren't self-quarantining then. We lose 30,000 people a year on average. We lose half a million people worldwide. Just saying. We talked about a, uh, a researcher last week. Here's another one coming out. It turns out global scientists revised predictions claim coronavirus mortality much lower than previously thought. But how low? Like how low is too low? So we had one scientist come out last week. We had a whole bunch more come out over the weekend here. And then the CDC does this. In cases where a definite diagnosis of COVID-19 cannot be made, but is suspected or likely, it's acceptable to report COVID-19 on the death certificate as probable or presumed. So we're not sure, we're not certain, we're thinking it might be. So yeah, let's just put it on the death certificate. Why is that significant? Because it bumps up the numbers, right? So COVID-19, corona, is a lung disease. So is pneumonia. Look what's happening this year here. These are the typical cases of pneumonia deaths per week. Look at this year. There's a drastic drop off in pneumonia deaths this year. Is it because something else was presumed? I mean, look at everything else up and through here. This is standard. This is typical. This is this year. Where are these numbers going? I don't know. As always, our mission here at Aspire Chiropractic is to attract, educate, and help as many people as possible, allowing them and their families to live long, healthy, and vibrant lives through safe and natural chiropractic care. I said it before, I'll say it again. I am biased. My goal is to get as many people under chiropractic care as possible because I think it's essential. Not think. I know it's essential. You know who else knows it's essential? State of Texas. The judge here in Tarrant County. Judge Clay Jenkins over in Dallas, and our Governor Greg Abbott. We are an essential business. We are to remain open for the public good. You know who the public is? You are. You know who deserves to be treated good? You do. You know how you get treated good? You go to the chiropractor. You make sure this thing is working well. This skin-covered meat sack <laughs> is working at 100%. So that way these little bugs floating around don't get you sick. Because in all reality... Bugs don't make you sick. Germs don't make you sick. The environment makes you sick. Okay? What kind of environment are you cultivating? Are you cultivating something that's hospitable to uh, coronavirus? Even though coronavirus has been around for a long time, this isn't new. Or are you creating an environment where that thing is inhospitable, where something like that can't survive, can't thrive? What is this? Just research and chiropractic and the immune system. That's all. <laughs> Again, I still contend this is a blessing. This is a pause button. This is a time to get everything in order. They say, if you want to be shot forward, you got to be pulled back first. Okay? This is somebody drawing that bow back, letting that arrow ready to release. What new skill have you learned during this quarantine? What new thing have you done? What new decision have you made to make your life better coming out of this than it is when you went into it? Are you working out more? Are you going to a chiropractor? Are you taking better care of yourself? Are you eating right? Speaking of eating right, check out our last YouTube video, Friday Afternoon Live. 
awesome success. I went over step-by-step step my meal prep, some of my go-to stuff. Your grocery list, your seasonings, how to cook it, how to prep it, how to make it, how to save it. Check it out. You got plenty of time on your hands right now. Make use of it. Now, I'm not Gandhi. I'm not anywhere close to Gandhi. But I'm getting a lot of flack for the stuff I'm posting. Why? I like the stuff I'm posting. You know why? Because it shines a light. It shows, in my mind, hope. I would way rather read the articles I read that say, hey, these numbers don't seem right. These hospitals aren't really as full as people are saying. You know why? Because it shows us that this really isn't that bad. No, that's not to take away from those who are struggling and those who are suffering. But man, if you just watch the news, it seems like this thing has taken everybody down. But if you dig a little bit, you realize it's not. Shining a light on the fact that this really isn't that bad in the grand scheme of things with a little perspective. We're going to be fine. I've been saying it since day one. I like listening to me because it gives me hope. I don't like listening to the news because that makes me upset. Because all they tell us is the bad stuff and they over exaggerate it. Dig into the numbers, you'll absolutely see that. Be the change you want to see in the world. Lead by example, lead from the front of the pack, take the high ground. It's a lot less crowded up there. You guys have an awesome week. Have a great Monday. We open up here in uh, just over half an hour. The healthcare high ground. Chiropractic, the king of all things natural. You're not going to find health in an MD's office. You're going to find it in the chiropractor's office, in a gym, and on the outside of the grocery store. You guys have an awesome rest of your day. I'll see you later.